Good morning students let's start with the further discussion of the chapter assets basis and sols the topic that we have already discussed are introduction definition of an asset classification of assets and preparation of assets in today's lecture we are going to discuss physical properties of assets chemical properties of assets and uses of assets let's start with the topic physical properties of acids the first one is the taste acids are sour in taste for example when we taste lemon we know that it is sour in taste vinegar oranges grapes they all are sour in taste we should note that mineral acids like sulfuric acid and nitric acid are highly corrosive in nature so the acids that are corrosive we need not to taste those so therefore these acids are not tasted the second physical property is physical state acids can be solid or they can be liquid at room temperature the acids that are solid in nature are boric acid oxalic acid tartaric acid citric acid and phosphoric acid the acids that are liquid in nature are hydrochloric acid carbonic acid formic acid nitric acid sulfuric acid and acetic acid The third physical property effect of acids on skin all mineral acids have corrosive action on skin that means inorganic acids and cause painful burns when we talk about sulfuric acid sulfuric acid stains the skin black why does it stain the skin black because it absorbs moisture from the skin and the thing which is left behind is only carbon Concentrated nitric acid stains the skin yellow. Concentrated hydrochloric acid gives amber color to the skin. It is brownish, light brownish color that is amber color to the skin. But we should note that carbonic acid and organic acids are not corrosive. Why we have specified carbonic acid because it is an inorganic acid but it is not corrosive in nature. The next physical property that is we will study is effect of indicators on acids. What are indicators? Indicators are complex substances that acquire separate colors in acidic and basic medium. An indicator will have its own color or it can be colorless, but when it is added to acid or base, it will show different color. We have already discussed this part in the previous lecture. so when we take litmus in acids when we drop litmus solution in acids it will turn it red if the litmus is blue it will turn it red or if it is a neutral litmus it will change purple to red methyl orange the color of methyl orange is orange and it will change into pink when we drop methyl orange into acid phenolphthalein is colorless so when we drop phenolphthalein into an acid it will remain colorless The last property that we are going to discuss is the acids can behave as electrolytes that means acids can conduct electricity in aqueous state when acids are dissolved in water they have a tendency to conduct electricity now let's start discussing the next topic that is chemical properties of acids in this we will be studying reactions reaction of acid with active metals with bases with carbonates with sulfides and bisulfides with chlorides and nitrates the first one that we are going to discuss is reaction of acids with active metals in this case we need to remember that when active metal when metals react with acid it will give you salt and hydrogen gas For example when magnesium reacts with HCl that is hydrochloric acid it will form its corresponding salt the anion of the salt is coming from the anion of the acid so it is MgCl2 and H2 hydrogen gas is liberated when zinc reacts with sulfuric acid zinc can also react with HCl when zinc reacts with hcl it will form zinc chloride but when zinc reacts with sulfuric acid it will form zinc sulfate and it will liberate hydrogen gas 
but we should note that nitric acid is not used in this case why we are not using nitric acid in the above case because nitric acid is strong oxidizing agent it will not produce hydrogen but instead it will produce water because it will convert this formed hydrogen into water due to its strong oxidizing nature when we need to produce hydrogen from nitric acid we should pay attention that nitric acid should be very dilute and the two metals which can produce hydrogen with this very dilute nitric acid is manganese and magnesium the second reaction is of acids with bases so when acid react with the base it will give salt and water when we are talking about acid acid contains hydrogen and bases will contain oh or it will contain oxide so oh and h when they combine together it will form water and the leftover part will be the salt that is nacl in this case because the acid we have used is hcl in the second one if i take h2so4 as an acid and we react it with copper oxide it will form copper sulfate the anion part of the salt is coming from the acid and the metallic part the positive part of the salt is coming from the base and with that one water molecule is also given out but what does this reactions are known as we know that when acid reacts with the base and it gives salt and water then such kind of reactions are known as neutralization reactions the third reaction is of acids with carbonates and bicarbonates what do you understand by carbonate and bicarbonate when the anion in a salt is co3 it is known as carbonate and when the anion is hco3 it is known as bicarbonate so when we will take these two reactions together because there will be only a balancing thing which is different here so cacl3 plus 2 hcl will give calcium chloride cl is coming from the acid water co2 remember whenever carbonate salts react with acid they will liberate co2 gas and in the next case also bicarbonate calcium bicarbonate when reacts with acid it will give you salt water and carbon dioxide but we should note that if the salt produced is insoluble in this case this salt is soluble because it contains chlorine but if the salt produced is insoluble then the reaction does not proceed further because a hard crust will be formed and the further reaction will be prohibited so we do not expect lead carbonate to react with hydrochloric acid or sulfuric acid because when lead carbonate will react with this, these acids it will form lead chloride or lead sulfate which are insoluble in nature so we cannot proceed with that particular thing nor does calcium carbonate react with sulfuric acid because calcium sulfate will be formed and that will be also insoluble so these reactions are not feasible the next reaction that we are going to discuss is acids with sulfides and bisulfides but quickly let we have a look that what do you understand by the word sulfides and bisulfides so3 minus 2 when the anion is so3 the it's known as sulfide the valency of so3 is minus 2 when it is hso3 it is known as bisulfide or hydrogen sulfide and the valency is minus 1 so when a salt contains sulfide that time they are known as it's known as calcium sulfide this is known as calcium hydrogen sulfide when it reacts with hcl or any acid like h2so4 when so3 is present remember that so3 will give so2 gas what does it give it gives so2 gas and what is the smell of so2 burning sulfur like smell corresponding salt and water you will also get in this particular reaction next one is the reaction of acids with sulfide what do you understand by the word sulfide it means only sulfur no oxygen and the valency is minus 2 in this case you can see s with minus and in, so it is s minus 2 it is sulfide but you should remember that whenever sulfide is there and it reacts with an acid it will give you h2s gas 
what is the smell of h2s rotten egg like smell so remember it is hydrogen sulfide gas which is given out when an acid reacts with metal sulfides for example zinc sulfide reacts with hcl it gives you zinc chloride and h2s next one the reaction of acids with metal chlorides sulfuric acid as you know that it ionizes in two steps so it has a tendency to form two types of salts that is one acid salt and one normal salt so nacl plus h2so4 when we take the temperature below 200 degree celsius that time nahso4 that is the acid salt sodium hydrogen sulfate is formed along with hcl gas and when nacl reacts with h2so4 above 200 degree celsius it will form sodium sulfate and hcl so this was a reaction of metal chlorides metal na chloride cl metal chlorides with hcl uh, h2so4 sorry and the h2so4 here taken is concentrated next one reaction with metal nitrates acids do not generally react with metal nitrates remember but lead nitrate is visible and so only lead nitrate reacts with both dilute hcl and dilute sulfuric acid to form insoluble lead salts so if you want to prepare insoluble lead salts the salts that are not soluble in water you need to undergo this reaction so lead nitrate dilute hcl or lead nitrate with dilute sulfuric acid the reaction is as follow lead nitrate with hcl will give you lead chloride and hno3 so your h and no3 the positive part of hcl and the negative part that is no3 they both will go together and form hno3 positive part of the salt and acid negative part will combine together to form lead chloride and last one is also same lead sulfate will be formed and hno3 because here the acid is h2so4 so the salt will get the anion from the acid last reaction that is also related to nitrates if i take kno3 that is potassium nitrate instead of potassium nitrate we can also go for sodium nitrate they will undergo same type of reaction potassium nitrate when reacts with h2so4 below 200 degree celsius it will form potassium hydrogen sulfate and hno3 that is nitric acid so these can be these reactions can be used for the preparation of nitric acid the previous reaction which we have discussed that can be used for the preparation of hcl when sodium chloride is used in this case you will get hcl but when kno3 that is nitrate potassium nitrate is used you will get nitric acid so from sulfuric acid you has a tendency to prepare nitric acid and hydrochloric acid and when you take it above 200 degrees celsius that time sodium sulfate will be formed let's discuss now the uses of acids the first acid that we are going to discuss is boric acid boric acid is used for eye washing and as an antiseptic we can use it for eye washing purposes citric acid is used for food preservation and also for vitamin c preparation oxalic acid is used as an ink strain remover carbonic acid is used in flavored drinks so the drinks that we drink it contains carbonic acid phosphoric acid is used as a fertilizers nitric acid can be used in making explosives so the explosives contain nitric acid and for the preparation of explosives we can use nitric acid now there are some questions which are flashing on your screen you can do this on your copy thank you so much